behind. This specialized truck is not only the tallest firefighting aerial platform in the Toronto Fire Services fleet, but is now the tallest aerial firefighting truck in North America. Responding to fires and other emergencies in Toronto poses challenges that are unique to other cities. Truly a vertical city, our crews require these specialized tools to effectively and efficiently respond to incidents in the high density environment where our residents live, work and play each day and night. This is a purpose built truck that provides our crews with a new and leading edge suite of tools and capabilities which will serve our city both now and well into the future. At full extension, this aerial platform will reach an elevation of 70 meters or 230 feet from the ground to the base of the platform. As Mayor Tory indicated, that's roughly 22 floors high. The articulating section of the boom will extend 10 meters or roughly 32 feet outwards from the vertical section of the boom. This provides our crews with incredible up and over capabilities that are so important when fighting fires and conducting rescues in our dense and vertical core. This aerial tower is nearly twice as high as our other aerial ladder, platform and tower trucks. This truck provides us with unparalleled ability to get above and over top of buildings and to work around overhead obstructions that are common in the high density urban areas of Toronto. The platform at the end of the tower is able to carry a maximum load of roughly 450 kilograms or, or 1,000 pounds. The platform allows access for a wheelchair or a stretcher, in addition to space for up to two firefighters, providing our crews with leading edge rescue capabilities. The high volume master stream nozzle at the end of the platform is capable of flowing up to 3,800 litres of water every minute providing our crews with enhanced aerial firefighting capabilities. This master stream nozzle can be controlled by firefighters working from the platform or via remote control from the ground. Inside the platform are outlets for firefighters to connect to a continuous supply of clean breathing air during firefighting operations, along with electrical outlets for various power tools used during both firefighting and rescue operations. There is a thermal imaging camera system mounted on the side of the platform, providing live time detection of heat and permitting the operators to be able to see through smoke. The feed from this thermal imaging camera can also be transmitted into our mobile command posts, providing critical live time information and aerial perspectives that our incident commanders will use in making critical tactical decisions. The tower is equipped with an integrated range finder allowing the operators to instantly determine the height of an object and to confirm that we are able to reach the intended target before the aerial is deployed. This will save precious time and reduce the need to reposition the truck during emergency operations. The truck has an automatic leveling system, enhancing firefighter safety and saving initial setup time. The platform is also configured with anchor points, which can be used by our high angle and technical rescue crews during complex high angle rescue operations. As Mayor Tory explained, this truck will be identified as Tower 1 and will be stationed in Fire Station 333 on Front Street. It will respond throughout Toronto as required. Given that this is a highly specialized piece of equipment, the specialist crews that currently operate Tower 333 will also operate Tower 1. This provides Toronto Fire Services with enhanced operational flexibility, allowing our crews to deploy the equipment that best meets the demands on scene. Designing, delivering and maintaining a complex and highly specialized truck like this requires an extraordinary commitment and talent. I would like to thank Division Chiefs Robin Salmi and Kevin Hamilton and our entire team of emergency vehicle technicians in the Toronto Fire Services Mechanical Division who manage, maintain and repair the entire Toronto Fire Services fleet, including Tower One, and whose expertise is so clearly evident in the design of this incredible truck. Division Chief Ansalmi is here with us today and personally led the team who designed and created the specifications for Tower One. And on behalf of all of us, thank you, Rob. I would also like to thank our, our entire operations training and command teams for their perspective, advice and expertise. 
and for ensuring that our crews are able to safely and efficiently operate this equipment. In closing, I would like to acknowledge and thank Mayor Tory and the entire Toronto City Council, along with the City's senior leadership team, for making this specialized piece of emergency response, emergency response equipment a reality. The addition of Tower 1 to the Toronto Fire Services fleet represents a significant enhancement to the already world-class fire protection capabilities that are provided in Toronto each and every day.